Yeah, I just spent seven hours straight just outside connecting and talking to my wife and kids. It was never them. It was always me who wasn't showing up. I'm Coach Bruce, and I'm a life coach for ADHD parents. I had this understanding in my mind that it was always somebody else's fault that I wasn't getting the connection I needed for my family. Not not so much as like an actual blame, but as in they needed something from me that I wasn't able to provide, so I wasn't able to connect with them. And what I what it really just clicked for me today, as I'm on my fourth day off of my medication, is that it was never them. It was always me who wasn't showing up. If I look back over my history as a father and a husband, every time that I have made the effort, I have taken the time, I have showed up without expectation and just wanted to be around my family, magically they appear. They stop whatever they're doing, they come from all parts of the house, and all of a sudden, I feel love. I think the reason why this has been a problem for me is that I've been struggling to feel worthy of that love since I left my position at the fire department. And I, being a firefighter wasn't the greatest thing in the world to me, but being a provider for my family, making great money, going off to work and doing something that mattered every day, it gave me a sense of identity. And whenever I left that and I started my business and I didn't immediately start doing the same thing, I, start needed, I started needing to feel like I needed to stay busy. I needed to always find something else to do, always take another course, always spend a little more, more time on my logo, record another podcast, but always something. There was always something I needed to be doing that was not connecting with my family. And I'm broke. I've been broke since I left the fire department. You know, we've had enough to survive on because my wife is smart at saving, but I haven't been earning very much since I started coaching. That's still fairly new. It takes time. Sure. But it was never about the dollar value for them. It was about me showing up. And as I was back here at my computer, being busy, finding stuff to do, there was a family outside of this room waiting for me to connect. And what I realized is that I was actually just hiding. I was afraid they were going to see through my lies and see through my false confidence and bravado and see that I was scared. See that I didn't know when I was going to be able to provide like I did before again. I, I didn't know anything. I wasn't sure of anything. And that's what I had been in the past. And I thought if I couldn't be that, Maybe they couldn't love me the way I was right now, so I hid. So I just piled myself under as much work as I could find, whether it was helping me move forward or not, and I didn't show up. The medication didn't help. Being able to push through the feelings that I could tell were there, but didn't really, I didn't really allow to fill my heart, made it easier to check out on my family. But being off that medication, I'm starting to see that I've been checked out for a long time. I haven't been showing up. Like I do my part as a father, like I chime in and I show up occasionally. But every weekend, I found ways to fill up my day that had nothing to do with spending time with my family. And today, I realized everything that I was going to do wasn't important. My family was there and they wanted to connect. So I did. And we just sat outside. My wife and I talk outside every Sunday. Once we talked for a couple hours, we invited our kids out and we talked with them. And we just kept talking and talking and just enjoying each other and spending time. And I realized they don't need anything from me except for me to show up. That's it. Sure. I mean, if we can't eat, it's going to be a problem, but that's not what they're concerned about. They just want their dad around. Your family, your family, just wants you around. Our families want us to stop hiding. They want us to show up so they can give us the love that they have in their hearts. We have to stop making it about us and what we think they need to do. We just have to show up. And I know it's a struggle for, for many of us. We've got our jobs or we don't. We've got our busy daily lives that we think 
especially when you're ADHD, the thing that's present and is tangible becomes the most important thing. But it's not. That job is important, sure. Making money is important. But the families we've created are are just so much more important than that. And they need us to check in. They need us to show up. I promise you, your family doesn't care about the next busy thing you're finding. They don't want you to look busy. They want you to stop hiding. They want you to just show up. So I, I, I ask you, if you're struggling to show up for your family because of the the self-doubt and the low self-worth, if you're spinning your fucking wheels just to stay busy so your family can't see who you actually are right now, stop. Just stop. Go show up. Go connect. Be there for them. Let them love you. Let them give you what's in their hearts. Make it about them, not about you. And if you are struggling with making that process, if you're struggling with living your life actively, go take the ADHD Aimless Life Assessment. Link to my link to my bio. It's in the description. And see the next steps that I have lined out for you to help check back into your life and make revelations like this one for me. I'm not there. I have not reached the pinnacle of who I want to be as a father, but I'm constantly growing and learning, and I want to help you do the same. I want you to see that there is a better life on the other side of this disconnectedness. And the first step is showing up. Show up. That's it for today. I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. Peace.